Today we're going to be looking at upgrading the EcoFlow River to the EcoFlow River Max. The difference is basically the size of the battery, the capacity of the battery. It basically doubles the capacity. So um, these have been sent to me courtesy of EcoFlow for the purposes of me doing tests and reviews and videos. So yeah, just to make you aware of that. So this arrived a couple of days ago and we are going to have a look at what is involved in upgrading the battery. Again, nicely packaged, just like all the other EcoFlow products. You will find other videos of me using this device as well. Uh, I'll put a link to those down below and probably up there. Uh, but let's have a look at this anyway. Again, it's quality. You know, you can actually sense that this is a good product. Let's, uh, let's have a look at what's in here. I can hear things jangling around. Okay, so we've got some bolts and uh, an interesting looking screwdriver. Uh, okay. So I just make you aware of something. I suffer from a, a condition um, that absolutely means that I cannot um, read these instructions. That, that condition you may be aware of, it's called being a bloke. So yeah, we don't need those. So let's have a look at what's in the box. Got some silica gel to keep it all nice and dry. We've got... A battery and nothing else okay so so that's the that's the bit that we're going to fit you can see on the bottom here you've got some connectors so let's have a look at what's on the bottom of here I'm just gonna stand it on here save so scratching my wife's lovely work surface Okay, so literally, it can't be more obvious. You've got four screws in the bottom, and I'm guessing that these bolts are just a longer version of the ones that are already in there. So let's just take these out. As standard, and you can find all this information on EcoFlow's website, but as standard, I think this is capable of something like 286 watt hours and turning it into the max doubles it so 570 ish watt hours um it's uh, i've been using it this week actually camping in a field and uh, and i've done some videos that basically show me boiling the kettle and cooking my breakfast on an in, on a, um, a teppanyaki grill so, so far, I am really impressed. Right, there's the connectors. So that must mate up like that. Okay, I'll just, um, just give you a bit of a close-up of the, the bottom. There you go. Okay, so I'm guessing it's as simple as plug that into there. Okay, so we've now got to put the base on, but we've got to get rid of these short screws. Longest bolts in. One, two, three, four. Now you can actually buy this unit as a max. So you can actually buy it in the state that you see it now with the, the double size battery. Um, and it works out slightly cheaper if you do that. So that's a, good, uh, that's a good bonus. But happily, if you do buy the smaller one, 
like this was and then decide that you want to upgrade, it's not a huge difference in price. So there you go. So if you went out to the EcoFlow web shop now and bought the Max version, that's exactly what it would look like. So let's see, let's power it on. And I don't know what that's saying because you can see it and I can't. So let's just turn it around. Oh. Obviously it's double the weight. Uh, well, not quite double the weight, but it adds a fair bit of weight on. It's also got this really smart flashing light, which I need to look at the app. I believe you can change the color of that and you can change the weather it flashes on and off. So this was fully charged when I put the extra battery on. Now it's 61% charged. So clearly the other battery isn't charged, but that's fine. I can charge that up. So yeah, that's it. Ooh. As I say, it's, it is a fair bit, bit heavier, um, but it's gonna give you twice the amount of power, which has to be great. There you go, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, as I say, there, there are many other videos that I've made. Um, some of them I haven't actually put out onto the YouTube channel yet, but check them out if you're interested in EcoFlow. Um, I'm into um, camping and caravanning and, and uh, in our motorhome. And one of the tests is I'm going to be running the motorhome on this to see how long it will stay alive. So check back soon. Bye for now.